Hi, in this tutorial we will learn about the magic eraser tool. This tool works like magic if you have similar color tones. So let's go around and see and learn what is the magic eraser tool. Magic eraser tool basically changes all similar pixels to transparency. Basically it removes the similar pixels. Now it just works with a click. If you remember, we did the magic wand tool. It also does the same. It selects the similar pixels, but the magic eraser tool with a click deletes the similar pixels. So if you're working in a layer with lock transparency, the pixels will change to the background color. But in case if you're working, otherwise you will get transparency. So let's go ahead and see how does magic eraser tool work in Photoshop. The magic eraser tool in Photoshop lets me erase or wipe out images that are basically similar color. So what if I just want to remove this background and keep the subject and place it somewhere else or keep it over transparent pixels. So I actually want to delete this complete area. So rather than selecting him out and going slow, if we have, you know, common colored area, maybe a background which is of common, common shade, I can just go away with my magic eraser tool and with just one click. I can wipe out this background. So let me just go ahead and select my magic eraser tool from here, which is just below my eraser tool. Now to move for you know move amongst these uh, these options, these tools, I can just do shift uh, shift E E, and you can see the magic eraser tool will be my one with these magic stars. And now I have this. Now what if I want to just go and remove this area and just keep this over? You know just keep the subject and change it or and keep it you know just have this object on a transparent sheet and copy this uh, man and take him to another background so before that let me just take make a copy of my background this is my copy and now let me just keep it uh, hiding because i want to see what is the effect and now i have a magic tool you know selected i'm just going to double click here on the background and you can see it basically covered most of it now, basically, to improve the tolerance, you know, to take more shades that are more common to this, I'm going to change my tolerance. Um, let me just do a control all Z Z, and I come here, and what if I do a 10? It will further, you know, inc you know, basically change. So it's going to change, uh, reduce the range of colors, and now even a smaller portion will be selected. So basically, if you have a stark difference between this, maybe it was this uh, shirt was in red, and this was in gray, then you could go for a higher tolerance as it will not take. But as already my background is in gray and even his, you know, his shirt colors have and his t-shirts have a bit of gray, I cannot go with the higher tolerance. The higher the tolerance and no more a color range, the lower the tolerance, the less a color range. And let me just try with, I'm going to do a control all Z Z to have my thing back. I'm going to do control J to have this layer. And again, I'm going to hide this. And now I will click anywhere and now it selects most of the area. So let me just show you if I had done a tolerance 80, what will happen? Again, let me do a control Z. Uh, let me come back here and do a control Z, control all Z. And again, let me do an 80 here and see the difference. Oh. And now when I click here, it's taking the, you know, the most shades, you know, the, which I do not want. So I'm going to be intelligent and uh, take my tolerance the way I want. So I have a 30, which I think was working very nice. So now I have this image. Now I'm going to paste this man over my, this, uh, this image. I want him standing here. I will further go ahead and maybe reduce the size. I'm going to control alt I and maybe I'll make it four. And I'm going to, you know, link these and I'll have this four and it automatically changes my height. Okay. And I'm going to do control A, control C that copies my image, go to this background and paste. And now I have a man here. Whatever extra is left, I'm on this layer. It will not delete. And I will just start, you know, start erasing it from here. So it was not visible there on the transparent pixel, but I can come here and I can start deleting. I can be as precise as I want. I can, you know, zoom into my image. I can do a J. I can do a Z and I can do a uh, switch on my, you know, my zoom out uh, but, uh, toolbar. I can go ahead and, you know, over his feet. I can, you know, go and select my quick selection tool. 
and I can quickly select this area and do a delete again select this area and maybe now it's taking my, a bit of my shoes I have to be careful again I'm gonna do a control set control all set control all set and you know be precise with my selections and again so I can go ahead keep selecting them and you know have a better selection so this is my man on this area again you know with this hair if I feel a little left I can go ahead again and remove this and I'm gonna do a control Again, I'm going to do Z and I'm going to go to my fit screen and I have this image and it appears as if he was always there. I'm going to do a control D and I can also have a move tool and make this man move around. So this is how, you know, and again, if something left there, I can go ahead and do as much editing, as much cleanup I want. But basically, we have learned the magic eraser tool today.